Hello. Welcome to this overview of the modified one piece fronto temporo orbito zygomatic craniotomy. It's important to get your Macati's keyhole burhole in the right place. That burr hole will allow opening into the frontal fossa as well as into the orbit. For this modified one piece craniotomy, this keyhole burr hole is very important. The craniotome cut frontally should extend as far anteriorly to the superior orbital ridge you will find as the footplate of your craniotome hits the anterior cranial fossa, you will not be able to extend it further. The second cut would be using an oscillating saw from the top of the frontal process of the zygoma inferior to the frontozygomatic suture extending posteriorly to connect to your keyhole burr hole. The blue markings show this second cut. So extending from the frontal process of the zygoma under the frontal zygomatic suture to the keyhole burr hole. This is the external appearance of the cut and internally it will be on the lateral wall of the orbit. This represents the orbital opening of your keyhole burr hole so the second cut comes to meet it in the lateral orbital wall as well. The next step would be to use the oscillating saw to just weaken the superior orbital rim connecting the end of your previous cranial cut. So you're going to just weaken it with your, your oscillating saw, weaken it across the superior orbital rim. The final cut as if it were is to use an osteotome to Propagate a fracture in the superior orbital roof or orbital roof extending from your keyhole burr hole to where you had weakened the superior orbital rim. Last maneuver to raise your frontal temporal orbital zygomatic flap, this modified craniotomy in one piece. Now, you have made all the cuts and propagated the fracture, is to lift this cranial flap. And while you are doing so, having a craniotome, these cuts and affecting a fracture out and that way you will have this frontotemporal orbital zygomatic craniotomy in one piece. The extent of the superior orbital wall that was removed with this craniotomy 
is limited. And after the craniotomy is done, if you want to remove more of the orbital roof, you can ronger it or upcut it. I hope you found this overview of the modified one piece frontotemporal orbitozygomatic craniotomy useful. Thank you for your kind attention and bye for now.